I suggested this avatar change. This way, I will be able to fully dedicate myself to my passion for painting. Among real friends. After the sensational finale given by Miraculous Ladybug's fifth season, fans are excited to get back into the action once the next season begins. Many things occurred that will change the course of the series forever, from introducing Gimme, the Kwame of reality, to Lila obtaining the Butterfly Miraculous, fulfilling her destiny of becoming the next Hawk Moth. Some believe that with the concept of time travel getting reintroduced in the upcoming Miraculous World London special, that Lila may depend on the idea of traveling throughout time in the sixth season, either by manipulating the timeline or searching for the perfect opportunity to steal the Ladybug and Cat Miraculouses, likely to receive her single wish from Gimme. In today's video, we'll discuss the evidence pointing to Lila becoming a time travel dependent supervillain. A reporter helps people to better understand the world, to clarify the things that seem fuzzy, kind of the way an optician makes glasses. Number 1. Miraculous World London Some of the best content from Miraculous Ladybug comes from the 40-minute specials, which stand on their own as individual stories taking Ladybug and Cat Noir on adventures worldwide. The upcoming special, Miraculous World London, will take Ladybug back to England, which was a secondary setting for the final episodes of the fifth season. The special will also take Ladybug and Bunnix on an adventure through time, as unexpected events lead to their timeline vanishing, putting everything the heroes know and love at risk. In the upcoming special, Bunnix notices the windows of time disappearing one by one, leading to the gradual fading of the future. Meanwhile, Marinette wakes up at home to find out that someone has made a wish in Paris using the cat and Ladybug Miraculous. In a race against time, she needs to transform into Ladybug but realizes that her earrings are missing. Luckily, Bunnix arrives just in time to help her. Together, they must uncover the identity of the person who discovered Marinette's secret and stole her Miraculous. Marinette discovers that the Butterfly Miraculous has a new owner and she must defeat her opponent to maintain her double life as Ladybug. As the summary for the special confirms, Marinette will learn about the new wielder of the Butterfly Miraculous, which means Lila will have a prominent role in the story. At the end of Recreation, a blue light appears off-screen and startles Lila shortly after she summons Nuru for the first time. The mysterious light could be Lila's tie-in to the special, as someone from the future, hero or villain, could have arrived to ask for her help. Most specials also include a new akumatized villain for the heroes to defeat. If Lila uses the Butterfly Miraculous in the special to create her first akumatized villain, that that will explain how Marinette learns about the Butterfly Miraculous falling into the wrong hands. However, Lila can take things one step further if she receives access to time travel, releasing villains across the timeline for Marinette and Bunnix to defeat while simultaneously saving the world. Number 2. Time Tagger while there were mentions and examples of time travel in earlier seasons, the first example of time travelers impacting the course of history occurred in the episode Time Tagger, when the titular villain traveled back to the present to steal the Ladybug and Cat Miraculouses from the heroes when they were still younger, weaker, and inexperienced. The episode also debuts Bunnix, who was sent into the past by Time Tagger and had to wait for her fellow heroes to help free her. Afterward, she explains how delicate the timeline is and that it's her job to ensure that history flows naturally. Otherwise, alternate timelines could arise and put their world at risk. Bunnix also explains that she's from a future where Ladybug and Cat Noir are adults and have an entire team of superheroes to help them protect Paris. However, she only helps when they're faced with a formidable villain like Time Tagger. She informs the younger heroes about their new akumatized villains they've yet to face and helps them square off against their over-characteristically powerful enemy by chasing Time Tagger using her burrows. A time-traveling villain is nearly enough to defeat the heroes once and for all, and even Gabriel is impressed, praising his future self for coming up with such a foolproof plan. However, Time Tagger interjects, claiming he never said Gabriel was the hawk moth he worked for. He reveals that someone new will use the Butterfly Miraculous in the future still creating akumatized villains in pursuit of the Ladybug and Cat Miraculous. Time Tagger's foreshadowing has finally reached fruition as Lila has become the new Hawk Moth. Suppose she relies on time-traveling villains in the future. In that case, nothing is preventing her from creating Time Tagger more than once or other akumatization victims with similar powers so she can continue to manipulate and alter the timeline to benefit her needs. I'm sorry, Ladybug. I didn't deliver. Not true, Bunnix. You didn't fail. Every problem has a solution. Number 3. Revelations one of the most significant episodes for Lila's character is Season 5's Revelation. In the same episode, Gabriel replaces Lila with Kagami as the face of his brand, and Marinette goes head-to-head -head with Lila in a race to become their class representative. Enraged that Gabriel replaced her, Lila uses the experiences as a catalyst for her negative emotions, pretending to use the class elections as the reason behind her feelings and why she wants to become akumatized. Against his better judgment, Gabriel falls for the bait and akumatizes Lila into Hoaxer, a villain who can brainwash anyone 
one using their alliance rings. Although Gabriel removes his alliance ring to protect his mind, he doesn't have the foresight to warn Natalie, who becomes Lila's target throughout the episode. While she creates havoc in the streets and an army of rioters, searching for Ladybug and Cat Noir, she brainwashes Natalie, convincing the woman to forward her all the information she has about Gabriel and his deepest secrets. Once Lila receives the information, she pretends to have a change of heart due to Ladybug's influence, rejecting the Akuma and returning to normal. Gabriel and Natalie remained unaware that Lila had manipulated and stolen from them and that the information she had received was some of the most sensitive. Not only did she receive files from Natalie's tablet, but she likely gained information information about the Miraculouses, the known wielders that were uncovered in the third season, and the reason why Gabriel decided to use the Butterfly Miraculous in the first place. Regarding time travel, one of the wielders whose identity was revealed is Luca, who uses the Snake Miraculous to become the hero Viperion. With his Miraculous, he can reverse time and maintain time loops for months if necessary. While Lila may want to take the Rabbit Miraculous for herself or create akumatized villains with time-altering abilities, she may have an easier time getting close to Luca, earning his trust and taking his Miraculous miraculous when he least expects it. As his miraculous is one of the most dangerous for a supervillain to have. As Gabriel shows an intuition, Lila could use the snake miraculous continuously, searching for the best way to alter situations in her favor, manipulate others, and gain the upper hand on Ladybug and Cat Noir. She would be more successful if, unlike Gabriel, she didn't try to use the snake miraculous to defeat the hero with unlimited luck. Instead, she could use it to gather information before allowing the timeline to continue naturally. Your secrets are mine, and soon I'll have your miraculous. Number 4. Double Lives Although it's briefly breezed over in the episode Revelation, Lila somehow manages to live multiple double lives with completely different identities, families, and friends. In previous series, she would make broad claims like being out of town to visit Prince Ali, traveling the world, or experiencing various medical conditions that granted her excused absences in school. In hindsight, she was likely doing none of the above. She was instead preoccupied with being one of her other identities, offering more excuses to explain her long lapses of absence. One of these identities will become her new namesake during the sixth season. After Marinette exposes Lila in the episode Confrontation, she pretends to be Cerise. She re-enrolls in the school to continue watching her enemies and manipulating their classmates without them knowing. As Cerise, she will likely need to come up with a new backstory and different excuses for her absences, unless she wants Marinette to suspect her from the beginning. However, having access to time travel either through a miraculous or a recurring akumatized villain, Lila's balancing act would be eliminated as she could give the illusion of being in three places at once and maintaining multiple overlapping lives. The war is only just starting. Be ready. The potential developments in the upcoming season of Miraculous Ladybug, especially regarding Lila's character and the concept of time travel, have sparked widespread excitement and speculation among fans. Introducing new elements such as the Kwame of Reality and Lila obtaining the Butterfly Miraculous have set the stage for a captivating storyline. As we eagerly await the next season and the Miraculous World London special, it's clear that the series is heading in a thrilling and unpredictable direction. Fans can look forward to unraveling the mysteries and adventures that lie ahead for our beloved characters. It so happens that I just quit as the face of the Gabriel brand in order to have more time for my friends. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications to stay updated on our uploads. I'm willing to give the attention that's obviously lacking to Chloe's and anyone else's issues. If you wanted to be class rep, you should have run in the election.